Hello everybody, just a very quick update regarding Bible live readings that normally happen, as most of you are aware, on Friday nights live. Our ongoing commitment to do that will continue, Lord willing, to do that in a live way. Sometimes we have to pre-record it, but we know that the live element often serves to encourage people, even if it's a smallish number of people, it doesn't matter, you know, 50 people on average tend to read with us over the course of the week after it's been live. Sometimes we have, um, I don't know how many join live, but it's something we're going to continue to do. This week, we just need a little bit of time away from the front line, so to speak, not in a public role. We do a lot of public stuff. Our lives are often very transparent and public. Sometimes that's trampled all over, and other times it just is a bit tiring. So that's to say this Friday... We're not, we're not today, we're not doing a reading. We're going to be doing the rest of the book of Ezekiel next Friday. Um, and that's with a view of finishing Ezekiel before moving on to Hosea. So just so you have that in your mind. If you want information, by the way, just go to the community tab on this YouTube channel. As often, I put information, post information, dates, times, or changes of plan, that kind of thing there. The other thing I want to say very quickly is just to, more positively and excitingly, I'm about to release a new book and the um, next video I do about this will be to release information, the title, the theme, um, let you see the front cover and all that kind of stuff before I then let the book be publicly released so that people can buy it. It's an exciting book because I think it gets to the to the root of where the church are at and I'd encourage you to look out for it. I'd encourage you to get a copy if you can. If finance is difficult, please don't let that be a reason why you don't get it. Just drop us a line and we'll make sure that you get a copy. Um, but this is where my work has been for the last year, roughly. Getting all of this ready and preparing it, working with different designers. And praise the Lord for an editor who's been able to get the manuscript work with me to get it into the best shape it can be in so that's going to be available lord willing in about two or three weeks from today so keep on keep an eye out for that and in and amongst all the other negative things that sometimes it feels like it is with the way that the world is the way that the church is and specific things that sometimes have to be dealt with there is a glorious message in the midst of all of this which is that jesus is preparing his bride ephesians 5 27 and that the church will be in splendor prepared and presented at the end of the age that's what it's all about is there a greater reason why you'd be on the planet? Is there a greater reason or calling to be alive for? I don't think there is. And so we give God glory. We continue to pray Maranatha every day. And I'd encourage you to tune into these Bible readings, if you can, on Fridays, and look out for this new book, information for which I'll give in the next week or so.